Hello, hi, sweet, lovely people. My name is Jess Marie and welcome back. I am, I haven't really been filming that much. I've been working on my business and just taking some time to really settle into my groove, find out I'm, I'm, I'm working on my pregnancy and I really mean working on it in the sense of being grounded, being center, being aligned. I've been going to Cairo two times a week to align my spine and has a little bit of a curve in it and I have a little bit of a pelvic tilt to it or it, it it's a little bit crooked. Pelvic tilt is like if you imagine your your uh, pelvis like a bowl. You don't want the water to be tipping forward and you don't want the water to be tipping backward. You want a nice little bowl to hold all the water. So mine doesn't curve like that but it sits a little bit crooked. So I'm aligning everything. I'm going twice a week to align everything to help ease the pregnancy and the labor experience and the birth experience. I've been working on what are my, my birth ideas, reading. I read this book all the time, the Pregnancy Bible. I try to read a couple pages a day. I'm about halfway through, that's my little marker, so yeah. About halfway through, right now we're going over different types of epidurals, medicine during labor, different birth styles, whether you want to do an at-home birth or in a hospital birth. Right now we're in such a weird situation and it's hard to say if rules are how they are now in July, Rob's the only person who's allowed in the birthing room with me. For me, I'm, I, I need my community of women. That is so important to have my mom there, to have his mom there, and to have his sister there. That is my female, as small as I can make it, I, I need these people because there's nothing more empowering to me than the idea of having strong women around, having women of the family help enter this life into, do I have anything in my teeth? <laughs> have these strong women enter a new life into the world and i i'm the the midwife and i'm i'm having difficulties with the midwife and it's not uh, i shouldn't say difficulties with the midwife but i am in the only clinic in town that has midwives there's three soon to be four midwives and how it works is we're not assigned one midwife it's hey you have a schedule on february 2nd this is who's in on February 2nd. Here's your midwife. So we don't get to build this relationship and it's the same with birth. I could have a midwife possibly who I've talked to only on the phone or like, like I'm just, I'm really frustrated about that and I'm going to definitely bring it up at my next appointment because I've had two different midwives and I'm not interested in playing the roulette game of, ooh, if I get Susan, Susan's not one of the gals, but if I get Susan, I'm going to be very, like, dis I, I'm not playing that game. This is my birth, and I want to feel secure and comfortable, and it's my right to feel secure and comfortable. So playing this roulette game, I'm not going to do it. So, and also, too, all midwives have different kind of ways of doing things ways of flow and there's got to be that connection we as moms to be giving birth we have this right of who we choose to be our doctor our ob our our uh midwife we have that choice and no one should make you feel that you have to go with whoever was assigned to you first you have the option to switch so i'm definitely gonna bring that up and um, yeah so I'm looking at options of home birth. I really would like to have a birth at home. It is because of the way that regulations are, I just feel a lot more comfortable with it. And two, I would like to have a water birth. We don't have a water birthing section or a birthing unit in our hospital. We live in a smaller community. So for me, I would really, if I'm not in any high risk or in need to get baby out right away, to have to go to a hospital, I am really hoping to go with the home birth and have a water facility, a water pool, I don't know what you call it, but yeah, when it comes to uh, all that, I'm just kind of figuring it out and 
Baby's slowly starting to move. I'm feeling a little bit of movement with baby, so I'm really excited about that. After I get off with you guys here, I'm going to call the, um, they scan you. They scan the inside of your skin. The, not the x-ray people. Who are the other people? The, uh, <laughs> who are they? What are they called? I can't think of it right now. Ah, uh, anyway, ultrasound people. The people who do the ultrasound, I need to call them back because they called me 15 minutes before they closed on Saturday. So, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna give them a call. So there's all that. And then with my business, I just started. I'm so excited for one to get my product packed. So I am working with Monate and I'm so excited. I always wanna call it Monet, but you do pronounce the T, Monate. I just started last week and it is a vegan, cruelty-free, dermatologist approved skin and hair treatment and there's so many different flavors for every kind of gal, guy, skin type. I am so excited to start my journey. I am somebody who likes minimal things. I used to really be into like dyeing my hair you can see i have three different hair colors right now you can see i have blonde this creamy color and then my natural hair i'm trying to grow out my natural hair so to assist in the process of that i am going to nourish it and fuse all these split ends there's this product called rejuva beads and it literally zips close the split ends because when i brush my hair you can't see it now, but I have hair all over me because my hair just pops and cracks and it's so dry and brittle at the end. See how straight that is? That's not normal. That isn't how hair should be. That's just damage from being dyed so many times. And this is probably like three dye hair right here. This is one dye hair and this is my natural hair. I was hoping that actually when I would become pregnant, I would have my natural hair to about here. And then it would be a lot longer and I just kind of have blonde tips. But if I, I know that, okay, so if I start growing out my hair now, then by the time I'm 40, it'll be all my natural hair. It'll be long, lush. And then when my gray hair starts to come in, it'll just be this smooth transition and I don't have to keep up with it the same. So I'm really thinking about in the long run. But um, yeah, y'all can't see, uh, no, you can definitely see my acne from just being pregnant and having extra hormones. My chin is the worst. Having these extra hormones be around my body. So I think, cause I've tried two different lines. I've been pregnant for four months. So first two months I tried, I was on Clinique and it is like the skincare brand. Like they don't really have makeup. They have a little bit of makeup but they are really like skincare based and the hydropolic hydrochloric acid or whatever it is to help reduce zits and all that stuff wasn't working then i switched over to clarins which is like old lady makeup and skincare also did not work i used the cream and i used the the lotion or the the it's like a creamy wash face facial wash so I used the two of those and they don't work. I was using a night and day cream with Clarins. I just had the one cream for the Clinique. So since both those didn't work, they're good money for both those. They're not just like Olay or whatever you use, like from the shelf you can get at Walmart. I was spending good money on this. So I decided to switch to Monate, which is a vegan formula it's all plant-based it's natural ingredients it has no fillers or silicones nothing like that that is going to irritate the skin in the same way and even though yes like i'm i'm struggling with hormonal acne i i do think that it's a lot of it is the skincare that i use and i usually don't put on makeup but i'm so now insecure about my skin that it's like okay well i can't just put a little bit right here because I need to then go buy a new foundation that matches my skin just for those little areas. And then like once you put 
on the foundation you need to conceal because it's just like all the same color but like my dark circles are like really dark so I put on concealer then I need blush because I'm just white I have no color no tone anything so I put the blush on and then it's like well since I'm here I'll fill in my eyebrows and then there's foundation on my eyelashes so I got to put on the the foundation and then I put a little bit of brown in the crease so that I have some depth into my eyes because it got all muted away with the foundation and the foundation at the end of the day is making my skin worse because it can't breathe throughout the day so I'm going to make the switch over and I'm also a market partner. Yay! I am going to be on board with the team and I'm working with a lovely group of girls. I am so excited. I've worked with so many different staffs and mostly all female and I feel so connected already and our our styles of how we have our business brand and it's all about brand marketing. I'm excited to be the face of my own brand and really work towards that go on my journey my hair and skin transformation so that is a life update for y'all where i'm at and yeah i'm going to do a little bit of dishes definitely drink some water i need water i just had a salty bowl of noodles because i needed itchy ban i needed itchy ban so I went to the store, got itchy bad. I only get one at a time if I'm ever craving because I haven't had Mr. Noodles in so long, but now it's like I've had two since I'm pregnant and it's like I need it with green onions. I need it. I need it. So that is where we are. Uh, oh, and I've been doing yoga almost every day. That has been keeping my peace. You can hear my little yogi voice. So thank y'all for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. I'm going to end this right at 12 minutes. I love you guys. Bye. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> Sometimes I'll hit it and then I didn't. Uh, I just did the little like focus on that area. Okay. I love you guys. Bye.